Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video I wanted to try out Nelf Me on Bird. So, quite a very long time ago when Nelf Me first released I did try him on Bird, but now we've had a lot more humans. And I want to try him now on Bird. And we're sort of, we're running like a, a speedrun team because we have Roxy, but I also got Nelf Me because I, I need a tank as well. I kind of want a tank. I want to see how much damage Nelf Me can do. Of course he's been buffed, he's got a, he had a sub stat boost and a main a, a basic stat boost which is quite nice. Uh, passive got buffed, which is once again quite nice. I don't have Arthur. Uh, I traded Arthur for Roxy. Uh, I, I need bonks, I need HP related stats just so I can heal, because this team is quite squishy. So that's the reason I've, bit, I've done that. I uh, called set we are running the basic stat boost just so Nolfami can actually make the most out of it. If not, if Nolfami was in defense space, of course, I would run the uh, if everyone's the same race, you get attack related stats. But I don't see the point in doing that because Nolfme wouldn't benefit from it. He'd get the crit chance, the crit damage, the pace rate, but he wouldn't benefit from the actual attack itself. So it's not worth it. Gear-wise, Nolfme triple defense. Uh, I actually need to change Eskinal's gear because he's on HP defense at the moment. And I need a DPS, please. Galland, okay. Okay, I forgot. Galland has his gear on. Okay, so we're running this. So we have uh, triple defense with Nolfme with pace rolls. Uh, this is my old gear for Nolfme. I'm not changing it. It's completely fine. Uh, attack crit for Roxy, of course, HP defense for Barn, and attack crit down for Escanor. Uh, links wise, HP defense, HP defense, HP defense, and I'll change that Merlin gear before we start anyway. Uh, and then let's go over alt levels. Nalf me is 5 6, Roxy is 2 6, Barn is 3 6, Escanor is 6 6. Let's get on with it. Before this video starts, you know 89.7% of you watching this channel are not subscribed. If you come back on the regular and you continually watch my content, why not support me? Subscribing is free and I really appreciate it. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Also, quick side note, when I normally do this, I only do test runs beforehand. I've not done a test run this time, so I can't guarantee um, <laughs> that this team will work. Hopefully it works first time around. Also, tomorrow I will have my one week review of solo leveling coming out so i played solo leveling uh over a week ago now but i left it a little bit while just afterwards just so i could sort of uh continue to play the game and see what it's like but i'll have my thoughts on that coming out tomorrow uh, let's just kill here uh any ultimates i really want i shall get an alpha me i don't see how much an alpha me can do the only problem is because an me is true awakened i will also sort of be screwing myself over because uh yeah, he's going to take less damage, basically, and you may even start patiencing some stuff on this first phase. Also, the problem is, it's because if I kill it too quickly, which is what I think is going to happen, Nolf me is just going to be completely useless, because it, it just I'm just not going to take enough damage to deal enough damage, sort of thing. Uh, I'm just going to double move Nolf me. I'm pretty sure this kills. Roxy's going to do a lot here. And then this Escanor hit will also do a lot as well, plus it's got double hit, which won't kill. It does kill. Oh, goodness sake. I just want to test out North me, man. I might just pop the stance here. Uh, no, I'm not, actually. Or do I? It, 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 this thing doesn't have stance removal. I'll pop it now. It's got buff removal. Okay, I knew it had some sort of removal. Uh, I'll play these two just to get rid of them. And I'll play this as well. Get off me's ult now. Everyone's now got a damage increase. Every human's got damage increase and damage reduction. Remember when he's got no Wrath stacks? That's very good damage. I don't care if he's not crying, it doesn't really bother me. He's, got an, he's only got AoE skills anyway, apart from his uh, his ultimate, which is single target. But I actually take damage. I have to, <laughs> this is the problem. <laughs> I've got too much damage reduction. I've got 20% from Barn. Uh, Nolfme's giving everyone else 40%. Plus Nolfme's defense based, and he's got a stance up, and he's got more defense. Yeah, it's, my team's like no damage. Um, I'll just play these two. Uh, Nofmi's already got ult. I want to try out Nofmi's ult. That's the main thing I want to try out. Bond's just going to kill here because double hit from Roxy. There we go. Okay. So. Nofmi's got no stacks and his, he's sort of based off getting the extra stacks. So let's just play these. Do I just... I... <laughs> I misplayed. <laughs> uh, it's whatever. Barn, Barn didn't hit damage cap? Eskinor's not hitting cap. Not me. Come on, bro. I believe at least. Okay. I was expecting, like, unknown level damage there. Like, level 1... Like, gloss level 1 skill sort of thing. 
Seems like no. Okay. Damn. I was actually expecting, like, damage for some reason. Okay, we, we, I'm going to play the Nolfby stance now. I'm going to play Nolfby stance. Get Roxy's ult. Uh, then I'll play the level 1 Nolfby skill. Roxy's got to hit at least a, some sort of damage. She's got Flood single target. She's full HP. Come on, I want to see at least a little bit. That's damage cap? Okay, that's good. That's good, that's damage cap. Level 1. So damage cap, but it's still damage. I, I can't kill it, okay? I actually need to damage north me, that's the thing. Because I don't think it can at the moment. Yeah, he's just he's just too tanky. This is the problem about true awakening characters and then trying out like lower level content is the fact you realize that they just patience it all the time. Like he's he's in one of my team who's just not taking any damage this entire time. I, he's, like, <laughs> he's literally full HP. He's not taken a single hit point of damage. <laughs> oh my god. Why? Anyway, this should kill. Roxy should kill if Eskinor doesn't. There we go, he finally killed. <sighs> Hopefully, it's in a. Thankfully, on the second and third floor, we should be fine. Like, he should actually be taking damage, which is what we kind of need. But anyway, let's get on with it. Now we are on to floor two. Hopefully, this should be much easier. North, we can actually take damage here, which is quite nice. He couldn't take damage last time. I'm hoping he can actually take damage, though. I don't actually know if he can. Uh, I'm going to play the Nolfmi stance, just because uh, next turn I have to basically just wipe it anyway. So then I'll play this, play this, and then play this, just to get rid of them. Except the skills I don't really need. There we go, it's fine. That's nice damage cap, that's quite good. Bond a damage cap. HP defense bond, come on. Nearly, that's fine. I need, I need this to crit. There we go. There we go. That's what I needed. If he wasn't going to crit, I wouldn't get the death damage. Okay, debuff. Debuff's fine, because not me... Can I have one debuff at a time, max? With his stance up. The thing is, right, I don't trust... Uh, actually, I trust it. I'll play this as well. So this, as long as every hit crits, I'm fine. So that crit. Boom. That crit. Boom. Oh, I forgot I need three skills. Yeah, it's fine. Bang. This floor is much easier than the first floor already. Because the first floor, we had to deal with the horrible uh, the horrible phase of not taking any damage. Um, If I remember correctly, I can... Actually, no, I kind of want Nov me to do at least a little bit. And then I'll just merge. Hand space. There's the Purify. Big damage. He's, hit, he's actually hitting many crits. Hitting the same amount of crits as Bond. Okay, he's going to full heal because I forgot the second hit. Are you serious? This is floor two. And he's just not he's just still not taking any damage at all. Uh, it's maybe a little bit harder than what I thought. Like, uh, hopefully, <laughs> I pray, in floor three, if he doesn't still somehow take damage, I'm going to have problems. Because I, I, can't, I can't showcase his damage without him having Wrath stacks. There's the first tier. I wasted the bond skill, but the bond skill is kind of useless, so... Maybe I just saved myself a little bit extra time. And snipe. Okay, here we go. Okay. This is a two-turn stance. So I play this, I play this, I play this, and I play this. I don't think Barn can deal... Actually, no, he might be able to because I got an Elfie stance up. That's Cap. That's also... Barn, don't do it. Barn also hit Cap. <laughs> Apparently, we're, we're, we're not going to see Nolfme hit anything higher than 100k. Okay, the final, the final floor is where he's really got a pop off here. This is quite quick, though. Onto the final floor now. Now, I, I hope, I pray, Nolfmi can actually take damage now. If not, we're going to have a few problems. Because I actually just need Nolfmi to take damage at this point. Because if not, he's, he's kind of just been useless. <laughs> yeah, I guess he has sort of given us a damage increase, but... I guess that is the problem about True Awakening him, is that you have so much damage reduction. Because he's got 40% from his passive, he's got 10% from True Awakening, he's got 20% from Barn. It's got a lot of damage reduction. 
yes, technically he is providing, like, damage increase, like that. You know, and maybe it is quite noticeable. I'm not too sure. I've not used this team without an off me. I just had Arthur instead, which is sort. That's not sort of the same, but it, oh my god! I swear, please damage an off me. I beg. Oh my god! The first person to touch. <laughs> it's the first time Red Tomiel's procked <laughs> this entire time. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll just play these. Play Roxy's AoE first, just to let her life steal. She has a flood skill. Oh, no, I need you to crit. Please. Possibly. Hit one crit. Bang. There we go. On to the second phase. Like, is this is this a good team? If you if you can't make the unknown team, then yeah, this isn't too bad, I guess. But I would definitely would not 100% not recommend this team. I also have to watch my next phase. Okay, maybe I still run this still on this phase. Just get rid of all of these skills for now. He gets attack related stab off every time I attack. That's not good. I don't know, I think it's every time I reach max old gauge, he gets five percent, I wanna say. Go on off me, two stacks of wrath. Uh, it's, it's just embarrassing because he just hasn't taken enough damage and I don't have a stance. If I had a stance it would have been half decent damage, but of course I don't have a stance, so it's not half decent damage. That's fine. He just deleted my Escanor card, so that's not fine. I forgot he does that. What's gonna leave it is this? Shock. Okay. Please, can this kill? And then I move the Novmi skill. No, I don't. I move the Roxy skill. Oh my god, no. I'm, Roxy's going to get dissolved. She can't kill him. <laughs> I should have attacked with Eskinor first. Oh, she killed it. What the hell? <laughs> she hit it really hard. That's even without Novmi stance. Okay, that's actually surprising. So the reason why I sort of... Uh, I don't want the stance to be disabled. What's your damage cap? I forgot they removed the damage cap indicator on this thing. I don't know why. Um, I want to guess say it's 30%, but I want to sort of go all out just to ensure, because... Yeah, I don't think I can kill it. <laughs> Come on, please. The ultimate, please. Damage cap. I want to see. 337. That's not damage cap. Okay, come on. Level 2. Come on, please kill it. Or at least use an off me stance. I can finally use an off me stance on the final floor. Sorry, final phase. You got Rise as well. Okay, I'm fine with Rise. Me. Pardon me. Uh, we play this, we play this, uh, and then I get rid of this one. So this will attract hopefully all the damage, or most of it at least. Second hit. Also, he's got a Flood single type, which is what I'm scared of, which is the reason why I'm playing these skills that hopefully will crit, so they hit a second time for extra damage. Now he's below 50%, which is quite nice. He's still taking, like, no damage. He took, like, like uh, 200 damage. Look, he's taking, he took 4 damage from that. Why? He's so tanky. That's a Flood, that normally Vapor, if you've seen any of my other, like, Bird videos. That skill vaporizes people. You're telling me it did like it just tickled him. That's all it did. It just tickled Null for me. That's all it did. Second hit. There we go. Now he's into res. Can Nolf me kill? Oh, damage cap. He 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 he's the MVP. <laughs> if you could guarantee a stance every turn, then yeah, maybe he would actually be quite good. But, it's not needed, you can just run like Arthur, and just one turn everything, and he has a passive taunt. But Nothmi is quite good, uh, he, his tanking is insane, I might actually try him out on dogs, because his tanking is absurd. Like, patiencing, even, even taking like, 50k from that flood skill, is insane in comparison to probably any other character that I can think of. Apart from like, maybe like Queen Diane, or a character like that, who's like super 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 tanky, but Nothmi is insane. Ah, uh, tankiness. Of course, he's going to probably have the lowest stats, because he took, like, no damage, and because of that, he couldn't deal any damage. 
but overall the ability to just patience everything is insane. It's like Albedo level, but stronger than Albedo because higher damage reduction. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.